Joining me now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, great to see you tonight. It was pretty pathetic yesterday that protesters were cementing themselves, we're looking at video now, into barrels and pipes so they couldn't be removed. Watch. Ow, 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 ow. Let go of the bar. Come on, let go of the bar. Stop! Let go of the bar. Let go of the bar. Stop, you are hurting me! Let go of the bar. He's free. He's free. He's free. Take him out. Okay. Senator, uh, this is just one of the absurd videos, but you've been criticized for saying people should take matters into your own hands to get them out of the way. Um, do you stand by that tonight? Uh, of course I do, Laura. I mean, what do you expect people to do when they've got to get to work? They've got to pick up a kid. Maybe they're trying to take care of an ailing parent, heaven forbid. They're trying to get a loved one to the hospital. All of these pro-Hamas lunatics can, I don't know, get a permit and protest in a park and wave around their little Hamas flags if they want to make fools of themselves. But they have no right to block traffic, especially on major highways or city streets when other people are trying to go about their business. And, and yes, what the police should do is get there promptly and arrest these people and throw the book at them if they're allowed to by their often left-wing Democratic mayors. But in the meantime, these uh, lunatics shouldn't be surprised if their fellow motorists get out and remove them from the road forcibly so they can go about their business because they have no right to be blocking public streets. Now, Senator Fox's Vaughn, Hillary Vaughn, pressed some uh, progressive Dems about these types of protests. Watch this. Anti-Israel protesters shut down bridges and blocked airports. Are you okay are with they that? Are anti-Israel or are they for Palestinian rights? Anti-Israel protesters blocking the Brooklyn Bridge uh, were burning the American flag and chanting death to America. Do you support that type of protest? Do you condemn this type of rhetoric? Are you okay with people burning the American flag? The fastest Katie Porter has ever moved. Um, why are they also <laughs> silent, Senator? <laughs> Well, Laura, they're silent because, as you said, this isn't just left-wing protesters. This is the entire machinery of the Democratic Party that protects these radical ideologues. This is who they are, As is you said, not? Act Blue, which is, yeah. Now, this is a the Democrat Act Party. Blue, the Democratic fundraising machine is using, is, is raising money to pay for bail for these lunatics, just like Kamala Harris raise money to pay for the bail for the BLM riders in the summer of 2020. This is the Democratic Party machinery supporting these radical ideologues. And, and of course, they are sympathetic to the causes that they're advocating as well. So they're not really sympathetic to people who are trying to catch a flight at O'Hare to go visit a parent or see a kid's graduation or to a mom who's got to get her kid to the, to the doctor's office or school in the morning. They're sympathetic to all of these anti-Israel pro-Hamas protesters and therefore they don't want to take a position on what they're doing to violate well, the Senator, law. What I'm what saying do you think, is really nothing. Yeah. What do you say, what do you, just really quickly, if these people were protesting the open border and had shut down these major arteries <laughs> going into airports, don't you think Merrick Garland would be announcing massive RICO charges, huge task force? They'd do another J6 on this, would they not? Yeah, it'd be... It'd be SWAT teams coming in, just like you yeah. saw at the Supreme Court today, Laura, where the, the Fed stretched the law to round up hundreds of January 6 defendants, stretching it beyond its plain meaning to include two counts against Donald Trump. That's what they do when it's conservatives undertaking such activities. Unbelievable. Senator Cotton, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.